Okie doke. So, in today's video, um, we're just going to go through, show you briefly what we finished up on last time, which was we started planting, like, the permanent fruit orchard. Um, so here's the fruit orchard. Um, we're going to have 150 of each tree. Uh, we have all of the apples. Um, pretty much we're just waiting for the trees to start producing fruit. Once they start producing fruit, we'll use the fruit from the trees in this area to finish planting off the trees. So yeah, we have apples, bush limes, these are the quandongs, and then obviously the banana trees. Um, so we have that going. Um... We will wait until everything is growing and producing, and once that's done, then we'll cut down these two mini orchards that we have here. Um, and then we have plenty of room to, like, plant some of the trees that we need for, like, decoration purposes. So that's what we did last time. Um, this time what we're going to do, I'm going to quickly gather up all this fruit and make some fruit salad and some more cooked limes. But I messed up on the house placements or the business placements or whatever you want to call them. So what's happening is that if I can get the camera angle right, like you can see there's like a little lip between here and here. And what ends up happening is that the characters are getting like John especially is getting stuck on his porch. He can't get off the porch. And then when he is off the porch, he can't get back on to get back into his shop. This is what ended up happening right here. What time? No, he's closed on Sundays. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Close Sunday. So he got down. Does that mean he can't get back up? So what happens if I want to buy something? What the? I broke it. He can't get back up. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to fix my mistake. We're going to bring out each one of these squares out by one. Um, just so good. But at least we're figuring this out on the first one, and then we can go from there. So we're going to bring it all out by one, the bottom one as well. Um, we're going to do that to all the squares, and that's pretty well what the video is going to be today. Um, so I'm going to start by harvesting, and then we're just going to jump, jump into it. <laughs> I'm actually legitimately kind of choked about this, but all right. So we have my inventory ready to go. We're going to start working on this. Um, what I am going to do that's going to make it a lot easier is I'm going to make what I like to call a doom hole. Um, basically, you go six squares down. And it'll give you unlimited dirt. Um, I usually fall in these. That's why I call them doom holes. How irritating. Okay.
Oh my god. The Thunder Eggs dude, like... It's a real joy to receive, but my god, is it scary. Holy... Jeez Louise, that scared me again. Whew. My god. Don't get me wrong. Thankful for those opals, but... Whew. Scares the shit out of me every single time. That's where we're gonna leave it for tonight. We're gonna go to sleep and we're just gonna wake up um, just because it's not worth it resource-wise to keep ourselves awake. So we only have three buildings left, so it'll be it'll be real fast. Um, uh, Melvin. No rain. Perfect. I'm a nomad that's like looking to sell seeds. I've got farming equipment too if you're interested. Although I can only sell them to people who have a farming license. Netherwing Lodge is beautiful, don't you think? I've been to lots of places in my time and like it's really nice here. Thanks. Appreciate it. Trying my best.
going to quickly make a new spot for the visitors tents um we're gonna put it over there four by four okay make it right beside the museum over here Alright, so we fixed up our mistake. Uh, the townspeople should be able to like walk into their actual homes now a little bit easier. As you can see, John just left his shop. Fairly simple. Um, what was happening before is that, like I said, I've pointed it out before, but there is a little bit of a lip here into the shop. And just for whatever reason, it was too much of a drop for the NPCs to get out. So we had to expand it by one. That's fine, it actually looks pretty good. Um, and in regards to pathing and stuff like that, it's not going to affect it too, too much. So that'll be good. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to gather some seed off camera. Um, now that these are for sure going to stay the way they are now, um, we might have to shrink up this pond a little bit. Basically shrink it from these big rocks. I do like the pond being here, but it's a little bit too, too big. Um, we'll fill some of that in. Um, but we're, n we're not going to do tonight. I need to gather some more food stuff. Um, and then, like I said, gather some seed off camera. So we're going to leave this one here for tonight. We fixed up our mistake. And then, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. You have a wonderful evening. <laughs>